In the previous video, I went through bank receipts, recording customer payments, and also other payments into bank accounts using these two features here, customer receipt and bank receipt. In this video, I'm going to go through the opposite. So payments out of the bank account. Just like the receipts, there are two options here. There is a supplier payment and a bank payment. Bank payments are for payments from the bank that are not paying an invoice from a credit supplier. The supplier payment is used to pay invoices off from a credit supplier. So very similar to the two options here, customer receipt and bank payment, supplier payment and bank payment. So let's do bank payment first. Let's say we have a direct debit or something set up for our electric bill. I can put in the reference, the nominal code, be a 7,000 code because it's an overhead 7,200. And I'll put in electric March. 17. The amount was 80 pound. And let's say the VAT was 20%. It probably wasn't. Um, but this is just a demonstration. It could be that there was another payment from the bank account that wasn't to a credit supplier. Let's say it was a bank charge on the 15th of April. And that's 7901. So bank charge of £7.50 and that had no VAT, so T9. And there we have it, the details are put in, I just click save and those payments have now been recorded. If I double click on the bank account and go to activity, just like the supplier and customer accounts, you can view the activity of the account. So in date order, by clicking the date here, there are receipts of three pound. That was the bank charge refund, a shop sale, a sales receipt from ABC Custom, a sales receipt from XYZ Computers, and then a payment for electric and a bank charge. So you can see the details on the bank account. Now the supplier payment is used to pay suppliers or credit suppliers. And you'll see that there's like a check template. So just like the customer receipt, we brought up the account and allocated the payment to the invoices. It's exactly the same thing with the supplier, it just looks a bit different. So our suppliers are Fast Supplies Limited and then this one KHBK. Let's do that first. I can't remember what invoice we raised. Um, computer chips. So let's say we paid that today, the 25th of the 4th. You can put a check number in if it was paid by check. Um, if it wasn't, you could put DD in there for direct debit, SO for standing order, or just some other reference that makes sense to you. Come down, 540. Perhaps we made a part payment of 270. So you can put 270 in there, half the invoice, and click save, and that will be recorded for you. Now let's do the same for fast supplies. We made another payment today, perhaps the 25th is our payment day, but we paid this invoice in full. You'll see that these options of pay in full and automatic are on this supplier payment box, just as they were in the customer receipt box. So I'm actually going to just put in uh, pay in full and that will do that, click save. Now, if I go to the supplier accounts, you'll see fast supplies is now showing zero because I pay that invoice off and there's only 270 outstanding. 
with KHBK. There was 540, but half that invoice has been recorded as paid. It's a PP purchase payment of 270, and we have the original invoice here of 540 with 270 still outstanding. As mentioned in previous videos, just keep practicing. The more you do this, the easier it will become. There's only one video left now of this series, of this tutorial, and that will be bank transfers. There will be other Sage 50 accounts videos to watch, but they're not part of this series. I'll speak to you again shortly.